Guys, so this is the setup I'm working with here. It's a really compacted area, as you can see. Uh, the desk is actually like a table top, I guess you could say. It's from IKEA. The whole thing's about 25 bucks, including the legs. It's only 40 inches wide. I don't have too much room to work with, so this is the best I could do. But it's a good thing for you guys to see if you're if you don't have much room to work with, and you can kind of see um, what it takes to cram a lot of uh, functionality into a small area. So let's get into it, guys. We'll start with my monitors here. I've got two monitors. One is an LG, one is a BenQ. Both are 27 inch. Um, specs for everything, I should say links for everything will be in the description of this video, guys, if you are interested in getting anything that I have. Um, but again, both my monitors are 27 inch. The main thing I wanna point out with BenQ is I did not get the gaming version of these monitors. I actually got the, uh, it's a GL model. Um, it's about 100 bucks cheaper than the gaming version and it's, it's basically the same thing. So there's no reason to get the uh, there's really no reason to get the gaming one, and in fact, I actually uh, I'll throw up a tweet here, maybe on the screen here, what I talked to with Drifter himself, asking him what he thought. Uh, pretty much the tweet that made me end up buying this monitor over one of the gaming monitors uh, saved me about a hundred bucks. So if you guys are interested in that, that's a good idea. So uh, moving right along, I got my consoles here. I got the PS4 on the left. Xbox One on the right. I had the Xbox One from launch and I didn't get the PS4 until um, Black Ops 3 came out. So that's, I've had the Xbox One for a long time. Yes, I paid 500 bucks for that and it really sucks. <laughs> um, but I do have scuff controllers for both. I got the Xbox scuff one and the PS4 or whatever it is for the Xbox, or I'm sorry, for the for scuff. Uh, not the Infinity, this is the 4PS I think it's called. Um, if you can see, I don't really put too much. Um, I don't really put too much customization on these. I do have control freaks on this one. Uh, I really just go for blacking out the buttons, and uh, the paddles is really all I care about. This one's a broken paddle, of course. I've complained about that enough. I put the grips on there. Um, I got the new scuff is coming in probably on Tuesday. I'll make a video of that once I have a chance to use that. It's a scuff impact. Uh, this is the Xbox One uh, Scuff One. Four paddles, grips on both sides. I, I wish I would have gone with the full grip. You can't really see that, but there you go. Yeah, there's not a full grip on that. Um, I wish I had. I don't have control freaks for this, because um, I, I stopped playing Xbox, and then otherwise I would, I would go back and get uh, control freaks for this for sure. Uh, as you can see, I don't spend too much money on the customization guys. I just keep them base, because I don't want to spend you know an extra 40, 50 bucks getting the colors different. Uh, I just don't really care. I care about the functionality of it. Um, so my, what I did here too, so you could see, just so you know, I bought these little shelves from Amazon that are really short. Uh, I put the consoles under there and I can stack the monitors on top. That way I can squeeze everything into one spot here. This is my PC down here. This is a, it's an i5, um, I think seventh gen, maybe a sixth gen, probably seventh gen. And it has the Nvidia 1060 card in it. I put a link in for, um, I put a link in the description of the, a similar computer, I couldn't find the exact one. I got this from Best Buy, actually it's an iBuy Power, uh, so I did not build it myself, but it gets the job done for streaming, so it's pretty good. I, I bought a shelf to stack this computer on top of, but the shelf itself was too tall once I got it in there, and uh, <laughs> so I had to flip the shelf upside down. But anyway, there's Black Ops 3 down there couple cleaning supplies and a notebook to take notes in case I need anything. You can see uh, I'm an expert at wire management so clearly this looks like a professional came through here and really set everything up nicely. So if you guys need me let me know I can walk you through a nice setup for your cables because clearly uh, I know what I'm doing more than everybody. But anyway moving along these nothing this is the keyboard and mouse that came with my 
PC. I really would love to buy a gaming uh, keyboard just because I like mechanical keys, but it's just not necessary. I don't have any reason to do that yet because um, I don't game on PC just yet. Here is a a uh, little stand I bought for my webcam. Yeah, I think it was like 10 bucks. And it actually has a adapter that I can have and use for the my cell phone as well if I wanted to ever uh, carry it around. I can, I can actually pick this up and uh, you know hold it. I can bend it and uh, use it for vlogging if I need to. My webcam is a Logitech C920. It's pretty standard HD, uh, standard kind of webcam that most people are using these days. Um, moving also along, I got the Blue Snowball microphone. Little insider information, that's probably gonna be subject to a giveaway here in the future. As for lighting, um, I, I don't have any fancy lights, guys. This is an $8 uh, desk lamp from Target, and I just reflect it off the wall. And that provides all the lighting that you guys see in my videos. And in fact, the light bulbs cost more than the desk lamp itself. Uh, my headset here is an Astro A40TR. I got a good story about how I got those. I got these $100 off <laughs> from Best Buy, um, but probably wouldn't happen for everybody else. I can tell that story at a later time. This is the TR um, mix hand. Uh, what I have here is an auxiliary port that comes from my head, my uh, PC straight into here and feeds all the information, I should say all the sounds coming from my PC that alerts the music uh, straight into here and comes out into my headphones. And what I've done is, I actually don't have it hooked up right now, actually I do have it hooked up. This is an inline uh, volume control. So this is what I do, so if the music is too loud in my headphones, I can actually turn it up and down from this. Uh, without having to adjust it within the computer. It's kind of nice if it's too loud and I want to listen to the game. So that, here's an extra one. You can kind of see what it looks like. The uh, link for this is also in the video. This is really helpful, to be honest, um, because a lot of times I'm streaming and the volume for the music is good for you guys, but it's way too loud in my headphones, so I want to turn it down, you know, but not eliminate it. Um, this port here in the middle is the stream port. It's kind of unique to the um, A40 TR, and it uh, TR mix amp and what it does is it sends all the information it, it's a dedicated port that you can then go into this command center uh, application within that Astro provides and you can select sound that um, comes from here so I can set that uh, this goes I, let me actually tell you here in a second this I can select game sound chat audio and I can turn my microphone way down and my auxiliary all the way to zero so nothing that comes through the auxiliary port and my own microphone uh, on the on the headphones themselves goes through that port. So literally this is just what I'm hearing in terms of chat and what I'm hearing in terms of game audio. That stream port goes into the Elgato, which you can see right there, that little silver one, so the silver to silver. And then in the Elgato settings, I can set it to auxiliary, I can set it to analog audio, which allows all my audio to transmit into the Elgato through there rather than through the HDMI port. It's a little bit further advanced tech than I want to do for just a room setup. If you guys are interested in that, just say something in the comments below. I can go into more details, no problem. This has took me a long time to get this all figured out, so I'm happy to share that with you guys so you don't have the same troubles. But again, there's the Elgato HD60. I don't have an HD60S, just the HD60. I've had this for several years. It's getting the job done for now. Eventually, I'm going to have to upgrade to an HD60 Pro, um, but that's not yet for in a little bit while. I'll probably wait till this thing crashes and then I'll have to upgrade. Um, some basic setup, but what, what also I want to show you guys here is I have this HDMI selector. So what this does this takes a selection from the PlayStation and an HDMI from the Xbox and spits it out of here. This goes into the Elgato, which then goes into the monitor, and that's how I can see what goes on here. So I can actually run Xbox, I can run PS4, and I also have a DVI input. So when I'm editing videos or making thumbnails, I need extra workspace. I can just make this a secondary desktop and then I can work that way. So that's the rundown guys. That's pretty much what I got going on uh, as far as my desk setup. Yeah, it's really tight. You can see the edges here. Not much room to work with on that side. Not much room to work with on that side. In fact, you can see the monitor is hanging off the back. It's a little bit cringy, but it is, it's getting the job done. I don't have too much room to work with. And I forgot to tell you guys the most important thing the, the most comfortable part of your room setup has to be your chair. And of course, I game on one of these bad boys. It's the newest installment from the DX Racer. It's called the Folding Metal Chair. Let me know if you guys need to get one of these. I'll give you guys a hookup, big discount. Use code Argon to get 
0% off on your uh, DX Racer metal folding chair. I upgraded this, believe it or not. I used to play on one that didn't have pads. I said, you know what? I'm gaming way too hard. I need one with pads. I spent an extra five bucks and living large ever since. So uh, eventually, guys, I'm gonna have to get an office chair. But the next place we move into, I'm gonna have a two bedroom place. I'm gonna have a much nicer setup, bigger desk. I'll probably get a green screen, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, look for that in the future. Um, but anyway, this is my room setup. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like what you see. Again, if you are interested in any of this information or if you're interested in these components, it's going to be all down in the description of the video. They're all Amazon links. You can go straight there and purchase whatever you want. Um, but if you have any questions, shoot them in the comments below, guys. Once again, thanks for 500 subscribers. I love you so much. But my name is Argon. I'll see you next time. Peace.